Hello there, DC Wood, Beartown Radio presenter and host of the Box of Stuff here in the superb Illuchinis in Congleton, Cheshire. And my guest at this time is none other than one of my bestest friends ever, uh, my former co-presenter of uh, the old Curtain Call show back in the day. And uh, she's currently made a name of for herself of all her businesses and she's currently directing Vicar of Dibley, the second coming at uh, Congleton, at uh, Daneside Theatre in Congleton, Cheshire. And she's with me here. My friend, my former co-host Becky Morley. How how are you, Becky? Very well, thank you very much for having me. <laughs> no problem at all. Great to have you back, um, and well, great to be talking to you again. So uh, obviously, um, we've talked to um, Simon Matthews, John Beach, Craig Eccleston, and Kate Burra uh, regarding uh, the upcoming Vicar of Dibley thing, and it starts uh, this week, doesn't it? it starts starts tomorrow, tomorrow night. Tomorrow. Yep, it's very and uh, runs on until Saturday. Yes. yes. Ex the 11th of October. Fantastic, and you've been uh, directing it uh, wow. as well. How have you found uh, the honour of um, directing this show and uh, given that it all started from the hit television series? Well, to tell the truth, it's actually the first show I've ever directed, so it's my directorial wow. debut, Fantastic. <laughs> as we could say. Um, so I've never ever done it before, so when I was asked to do it, it was, must have been about six months ago now. Mm -hmm. and it, well, it feels like yesterday um, mm -hmm. when I got asked to do it, and I thought, really? Me? So it's like something I've never ever done. I've always ever just been on the stage, been in a play, or done music, or whatever. But yeah, directing, it's been really, really good for me. So it's been a challenge, and a lot of stuff that I didn't realise I had to do. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been really good fun. But I've, I've had a, well, I've kind of like, phrase, like kind of put my hand in all the pots. Um, and I've had a go, I've obviously directed, I also did the programme design. Um, what else did I do? I did like meet, we've got some music as well. We have a, a bit of choir in there, so I've done a bit of uh, arrangements for songs there and a bit of direction for that. Uh, I also did, I'm also doing the sound as well, so for the actual show, so I'll be sat on the sound desk. So it's uh, all very new things for me this time. <laughs> but uh, fun, positive oh, learning experience. Yeah, I loved it, definitely. I'll do it again, so I'll be happy back. Fantastic, <laughs> <do it> <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Now, um, obviously, um, it's a, a huge uh, challenge undertaking uh, such a um, such a project and particularly for stage and knowing how uh, something yeah. that the original TV series was so loved and approved. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've also noticed having attended um, the, um, the original dress rehearsals um, is that uh, you've actually, um, you've what's it, you've um, kind of uh, put, uh, adapted and tweaked a few story elements yeah, here yeah, and there. what's happened was it was it was actually stayed last year as well, mm -hmm. last October, so it's exactly a year later. Um, and I did direct the first time, uh, it was directed by Pamela Moon, and she um, did a really good job, and it was the first kind of, the main story, so it was where Alice and Hugh decided to get married and have the wedding, and it was all that kind of stuff. So we've done it a year later, so I was quite lucky in that respect, because uh, the set had already been designed and mm -hmm. built, um, we had the same cast as last year, they all knew the characters really well, so it's been quite a nice, easy transition for me really, I haven't had to worry about doing a whole new set of auditions and worrying about building a set and getting everything under music sources, because a lot of them, like I say, not the choir music, but the kind of incidental and opening themes, we've used a lot of the same stuff from last year, so it's been quite easy for me, and obviously it's such an iconic show, it's, uh, you need to get it spot on, so Super. that's been fun, but it's the, this, this one is actually, it's not episodes, it's kind of a whole play, but it's kind of merged together, so there isn't a break in between Ah, right, episodes. so kind of like a, an, omnibus, an omnibus movie yeah, sort of arrangement. Yeah, kind of, there's no, it's all the story, it's, it's from about three or four different episodes, mm -hmm. or elements of different episodes, all merged them together, so it's all continuity, mm -hmm. all follows through. Right. Uh, but this, this one actually includes the, um, when they set up the radio diddly, mm -hmm. the radio and her. Oh, I love that episode, <laughs> super. It's really good, we've got a really good, uh, do a really good job of that, and then it's also uh, a big focus on the nativity, yep. which I'm sure you've seen the Christmas special. Yes, so. of course. <laughs> When uh, Hugo and Alice have uh, baby Geraldine, yeah, don't give it all away. <laughs> well, I'm oh, sorry, I can't help it. I mean, it's it's one of the greatest episodes ever of the TV great. series. It's really good fun. So it's emerged there are the main themes really for this for the play. Fantastic. Uh, but there's a little snippet from other episodes, like here and there, bits of jokes from other places. So it's very very good. Super. Anyway. <laughs> Absolutely superb. A um, couple of uh, two more questions okay. now. Um, what do you feel uh, fans of the original TV show? Uh, may expect to find in this uh, stage production that they may not be able to have found in uh, watching the original series itself. Good question. Well, you'll find all your favourite lines. Mm -hmm. They're all in there, um, and you'll see them done in a different way. So, well, you'll, you'll see them done as you know, as they as they should be done. But obviously, there's a new take on it because it's friends and you know, faces that you'll know, friends and family perhaps 
deliver the lines, um, which makes it even more fun, I think, because you're used to seeing the characters on the screen, but when you've got people you know from the community doing those lines and acting out, and we've got some really good, you know, the cast are really spot on for each character as well, they look alike, they sound alike, uh, and it's just Really. Well, so well, they'll be really impressed, I think, by the likeness of the characters. Well, certainly. I mean, um, um, so far, uh, Kate Burrow has uh, really mastered it as uh, uh, oh, Letitia yeah. Cropley, uh, <laughs> Mrs. Cropley, and of course Craig Eccleston A as well. Hugo. Yeah, yeah definitely. He, he's got his mannerisms perfect. As have mm. the rest of the cast. Um, uh, Alice as well. She's Linda um, Davenport yeah. plays Alice. Fantastic. She's also fantastic. She's got the voice yeah. spot on. And kind of the mannerisms as well. Definitely. Yeah, you can tell everybody's really studied the episodes and how the characters should, should act. Of course they've taken their own um, their artistic license, mm -hmm. I suppose you could say. Um, mm -hmm. They've also kept true to how the characters should act, which is really good. Brilliant. And finally, uh, what is your all-time favourite episode of The Vicar of Dibley? <laughs> favourite episode? Um, I probably would say the, the Christmas Nativity one, yeah. actually, just because it's uh, got a place in my heart now, because we've done it so many times, because yeah. <laughs> it's, it's been a hard scene to work on, but hopefully yeah. you'll see it's been worth it when you come and see it this week, because it's very, very funny. Fantastic. <laughs> nice surprise. There's a few surprises in at the end as well. <laughs> Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much, Becky. This is uh, DC Wood signing off of the of stuff. Don't forget, uh, the Vicar of Dibley stage show, the second coming, uh, starts tomorrow night at Daneside Theatre and it runs on until this Saturday. Uh, ticket information can be found at uh, Daneside Theatre's website at www.danesidetheatre.com and of course, uh, don't forget, uh, Congress and Players, for people who are putting this, um, this show on, they can be found on Facebook as well. So uh, check out Congress and Players at uh, facebook.com. This is DC Wood signing out for the Box of Stuff. Take care everyone. Thank you very much again, Becky. And and uh, we'll see you again soon. See you at Vicar of Dip.